go throw some beans in the ground. I'm heading out. Just got out of the shed. I've got about 70% of the tools I need if I have any problems. The other 30% I need to pick up sooner than later. At least I need to pick it up before I leave the main farm. But uh, we'll head out to the field and see if she's ready to rock and roll. Garrett's throwing in beans with the new planter, and uh, Dad's planting corn with the 24 row. So, we'll head out here and start planting. No good. I'm not been having fun. No fun whatsoever. I've been undoing row units. Something's got in the... There was some stuff that was still in the tank or pretty close to the meter. And as soon as I took off, it got in the tank. No fun. And after unclogging about 20 rows, I'm glad that I changed uh, my jeans after school because if not, mom would not have been happy with washing those dirty jeans. Went back up from to where I started and run it over again and see if I have any more rose clogged. I unclogged them all, but uh, some of the rows I took off and had to get crap out of, and some of them I just stuck a little uh, wire down and poked down into it and then it started going so hopefully everything rock and rolls or just a few rows have problems I don't have to mess with this for very much longer that's the hopes I guess I can bring you for the moment of truth huh? might take a little while huh? My God, we did it! We did it! Hopefully, we'll shift up another gear. She's planting. Hallelujah! I'll be darned. No rows. After all that work, it actually it actually paid off, guys. Hallelujah! So this is the first field that the drill has touched. Uh, this is not the first field of beans that have been planted. Jared started this morning, or let's say midday, on planting. I came over here with a drill after school. And, uh, see what we can knock down. I need to step out here and see if everything's rocking and rolling like it should. But... And I might have a row. Might have one row, I have problems. It flashed and went away. So. I check that out right up here. But yeah. Drills are pretty simple compared to planters. Or at least the planters that we have. It has one drive wheel. It's not electronic. This one's pretty plain Jane.
some of you non-farmers might be wondering why there is a tarp on this drill, or some of you farmers might be too. Um, let's just say John Deere didn't do a very good job with this drill either. And another category, and that is um, the seals. Um, if you don't have the tarp on when it rains, let's just say you're gonna have to take every single bean out of that tank. And that is not very fun. Uh, the first few years we had this drill, we didn't have the tarp, and there was one year we had to clean it out three times, and it was one of those things where it just starts raining really hard all of a sudden, and you can't get this thing to a shed. Um, it sucks. So it's better just to get the $400 tarp from John Deere, because we try to cheap out on that too, and uh, no, you can't really do that, because this is like a, a fitted uh, tarp for the this drill so John Deere good, did a good job on designing a tarp after they had a problem with um, water getting in the tank I thought we did 
did a good job, but I was wrong. Probably should have uh, ran it a little bit before we uh, threw beans in it. I think that's really what needed to happen. But uh, everything's running smoothly now, and I am opening up another piece of this field. I haven't got as much done as I planned to, but we're getting after it now. We've had quite a few frequent stops of fixing that, but fun fun. I think everybody else is still running. I don't know how they're doing. I mean, this is Jared's first full day of running that drill. Or not that drill, that planner. So, I don't know how that's going. And hopefully Aiden got you some drone footage. He's been running around all afternoon doing that, so I'd say he probably did. Well, it's like 9 o'clock. I'm still rocking and rolling, but we've got a problem as a rose. That is my load seed warning. It says down here too. And uh, let's just say I'm really close. Like when I say I'm really close, I'm really close. And I've had the low seed thing for some time now. So a little worried about that. But hopefully, hopefully we'll make it. Even though this is like an 80 acre field and uh, this tank all the way to the rim is 80 acres worth of seed. Hopefully we'll make it. Hopefully. And we're out. And we're short about three acres maybe. Give or take a few. But yeah, I'm, I'm short. So I gotta get out of here and grab, grab the seed then. Yay! Well, I think I'm going to be done for the night, but uh, I'm just going to take this tractor drill and I'm going to unfold it up here in the hog barn parking lot so that the seed tinner can fill me up tomorrow. But, yeah, I got school tomorrow, so I'll come back to that field when I get off of school, finish it up, and then try to catch up with Jared and maybe we'll move out of the main farm tomorrow we'll start knocking down some more acres. Today has been a pretty rough day when it comes to planting, but it's mainly because I haven't planted with this thing yet, so I think I've got everything worked out at this point. Um, as soon as it got dark, everything started working good, so that made me happy. I almost got it all finished up, but not quite enough seed. Just a little bit short. It's a sad amount short, honestly, like a very sad amount.